This is the leaf vacuum machine with the blown engine, but what I'm going to show you today is how to remove the fan from the engine. The first thing you would need to do is remove the bolt here. An impact wrench would work good, or you can just use a ratchet and a socket. Now you're not going to need a crowbar to remove the fan, but what you're going to need is a half inch in diameter bolt. And by the way, this is a standard bolt, it's not a metric bolt. The way you can tell if it's standard is the three notches over here to indicate it's grade 5. The metric ones have numbers and not the lines. Now once you remove the bolt over here that holds the fan on the engine, you're going to notice that there's threads here on the part of the fan. So this bolt here will screw in there perfectly. And what that's going to do is put pressure on the shaft, thus releasing the fan from the shaft. Now all you need is a 3 quarter inch socket and your ratchet and tighten up the bolt. So first of all I put a 4x4 piece of wood here to lock up the fan when I tighten up the bolt. And I just felt the fan pop a bit so it's loose from the shaft. Now once you know that the fan is loose from the shaft you can take the bolt off. Now make sure to disconnect the belt down here. And now you can just simply pull on this and the whole fan will come right off. There. And there's the shaft over here. If you want to take the fan out completely from the shell, you would have to take off all the nuts holding this little cover on. And again, this is the engine with the damaged cylinder I showed you in a previous video. The video was called How to Diagnose a 5 Horsepower Briggs and Stratton Engine with No Compression. I'll put the link below this video so you can go watch it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.